Okay guys, welcome back to Vast Shows, that's what I'm going to call this. This is my Bow Morale project, and basically, I recorded this entire thing, about 20 minutes worth, and I had my mic on mute. Right here I'm explaining that I'm using John Smith 32x32, 32 32, John Smith Legacy HD Texture Pack. Really cool texture pack. It makes everything pretty. Right now, I'm explaining that this whole little building is new. I just built it over the outside. Some new logs. Built a blacksmith over here. It's a pretty cool place. You can't actually put fire in the fire pit because it burns everything down. And of course there's spiders everywhere because they're garbage. Anyway, right here is a house I got from Jamie Boy's channel. He's a minecrafter. And it uses the 3x3 three three rule, which is basically block, three blocks, block. And here's another house I got from Jamie Boy's Minecraft channel. Basically, same exact thing, three block rule. He has a download link, and this one I world edited in. And basically, it's empty because he has a version where there's stuff and a version where it's empty. I chose empty because I like to customize my places just so they're actually more mine. Anyway, what you see in here is actually a lot different than what is going to be on his channel because I customized the crap out of that house. A skeleton getting in the way of the door. That's not new, it's an old little dock I had. And right now we're flying over to a ravine I found and I just got rid of all the sand and whatnot to make it kind of like this really big waterfall just kind of going over into the ravine. And I went down through all of the tunnels and filled them up with water. It looks really cool. And here I'm building little buffers to prevent erosion and whatnot. There's a little crane. It has quartz because quartz is rare. You can only find it in the nether. And basically I'm going to make this whole little place cool. And here I'm firing the cannon I found on YouTube. It actually shoots stuff. And to put redstone and buttons on dispensers you have to shift click them. And basically this area right here, the whole area all the way around, it's going to be a dock I'm going to build. And here is another house by Jamie Boy's Minecraft channel. This It's got like a little cellar, which is pretty cool. I'm just showing around a little bit. I haven't customized it much. I've been doing other videos. And basically, try to get out of that hole, that freaky sheep looking ass. We're going to fly to the next major thing, which is another house. And this house, I kind of customized the out the exterior of it a lot, and I customized the interior too. But this one was just so cool, I tried to leave it alone. Right now, we're gonna. This is the first floor. It's the main room. It's pretty small. It looks a lot bigger on the outside. Right here, you can jump up out. That's a little. I don't know. Just something cool I added. Gonna go downstairs where you would like typically store things like boxes and crates. Maybe have a fire to keep the house warm. And I'm replacing all these blocks because I got the new texture pack and they just don't fit anymore. Anyway, this this hole right here is where the fire would have gone. And there's a little hole in the roof for smoke to leave. But, you know, there's not really smoke in Minecraft. It's just a little cool visual thing. And we're going to go out of here and we're going to go upstairs to the first floor. Which is going to lead back into that main room we were just in. There's a little chandelier on the roof, looks pretty cool. Now we're going to go to the second floor, which is the bedroom. I think it's a pretty nice sized bedroom for this house to look so cool. I mean, you can customize it more, fit whatever you want in there. Third floor now, there's this really cool balcony. I add some water down there so you could jump off if you needed to. I don't know why you would need to, just, I don't know, it's, it's cool looking. And right here's a little storage room. Yeah, I, I know it's open on the tops right there but it's not really open nothing can get in go upstairs this is the third floor right here where I'm stuck at and then this is the fourth floor there's actually not a third floor except for that one little space right there and this is just a big enchanting room with a furnace brewing stand and a nice look over the area now we're gonna go back outside do 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 and we're going to fly over to the next new house. Not house. 
docks. I built these docks. I don't know if they were in the last episode, but I think they're really cool. And the reason I love this texture pack so much because it makes this boat possible. This boat looks cool as crap, and what I'm explaining now is that the wool, these little crates are literally just gray wool. I think that's pretty cool. And there's a, a texture pack out there that makes all wool look like this, except different colors. And there's a cow drowning over there. Anyway, here's the inside of the boat. Little captain's room with a chest, you know, some boxes. And here's the under part of the boat where you would store all the crates and goods. And now we're gonna climb. We're gonna climb up. Look at the crow's nest here, which is right here. You know, it's not nothing fancy. I put that little glass on top to make it like look like a wind spinner or something. I don't know. Right here, I tried to make the boat look like. See, it wouldn't fit over there, so I tried to make it look like it ran ashore. I don't know. I need to add more sand. And then here is a little creation I made using the 3x3 three three rule. Which was supposed to be like a lighthouse or something. But I don't know, I'm really bad at just building things from scratch. I thought this turned out moderately okay. And basically, it's not customized at all. It's just kind of random stuff I was trying to mess around with, make cool. I'm really bad at climbing ladders, because smart moving, which is the mod I have. It makes it pretty hard to climb ladders. And see, if you do customize it, that other room would be a bedroom, this would be a little common room. This would just be a big open area. Up here is kind of like a storage area. That's there to keep you from falling. It's nothing special or fancy. And there's boxes you can put on shelves up here and chest and whatnot. And here's the actual storage room with a little lookout to, s to see what's going on. And you climb up all the way to the tower top and it's really nothing more than just a big lookout tower that you can guide the ships with close that little door and right here I'm holding control and shift to try and climb over the fence because that's a, what smart moving helps you do and I'm about to explain smart moving yep here we go that's the smart moving flying animation. Smart moving really helps you out because it adds cool fundamentals like flying, crawling, hanging from rooftops, power jumping, head jumping, sliding, diving off buildings, and you actually go into a dive. I just can't do that one yet because it's kind of hard to learn. And right here, I'm about to, I'm gonna seriously screw up and think I have a secret passage right here, but I don't. It's just a little place where water goes through to my inside of the place. Right now I'm just looking around for it and I'm like, oh there it is. But that's not really it. We're gonna go down inside and be like, huh, it's really dark, I can't see. Let's put down some torches. But you know, I'm underwater so the torches are just gonna break. I click down and I'll show you later in the video where this is at. But yeah, that wasn't the right place at all. And click. There we go. We're gonna fly back out of here. And I'm gonna show you the real secret passage. You can only access it if you have the smart moving mod. It's a pretty cool thing. You just kinda you swim down here, it's a one by one hole. You can now crawl through one by one holes if you have the smart moving mod. You can even just like sprint crawl through it. I mean, it. It's a really nice mod. I prefer it. I try to have it at all times. You can even use some functions of it on a multiplayer server. Like you can hold on to the side of things. But you can't do any of the fancy features like crawling. And right here I'm just showing off another secret passage I built. It just it opened. It took me forever to build it. But it opens up and pushes you out. I think it's pretty cool. And right here is basically like a giant theater room I built. And right now I'm about to, if, as soon as I find out where it is, I'm going to show you another secret passage I have in here. It's right here. And, okay. And right here, you know, we're just swimming inside. There's a little lever right there which opens a bookcase on the outside. And inside is a little chest with a creeper mask. There's not really any reason why. 
over here. Uh, it's kind of like a secret exit. You just pull the switch, the blocks go down, water pushes you over, you go up, and you're you're good. This little door exits into the library, which is it's a pretty cool place. And right now I'm gonna show you my favorite thing of all time. Boop. Whee! And it closes behind you. Completely unseen to the above world. And just ignore these blocks. I need to do move change blocks since I got a new texture pack. But anyway, we're gonna go up these stairs and we're gonna go to Boop -a -boo. And pull this switch and you go to jails. So if you have the smart moving mod, you can literally escape from the jails if you want to use this map. Once I finish it, I'm going to put a download link, but it's probably not going to be done for a while unless I get some help. And basically over here, same kind of deal except this one goes into the hallway. And I'm pushing it so many times because I was confused as to what it was doing for some reason. I was like, what? What is what is that happening? Anyway, up here is one of my favorite things too. It's actually got three layers of glass right here. But there's just, a, a, it's a, probably like 40 blocks of water right there. I think it's pretty cool. Anyway, we're going to push that lever, we're going to break this, we're going to crawl back through and put it back. Oh. <sighs> Uh, oh, sorry. Anyway, uh, yeah, there we go. I had to switch things. So I took a momentarily pause to eat some biscuits. They were garlic biscuits. Anyway, I'm gonna show you the the redstone behind the floor. It's actually not that complicated. It's just a lot of a lot of placing. Yeah. I'd rather not do a tutorial on it unless a lot of people actually want me to. But basically, you, the reason you break the blocks because you constantly get more blocks fed into it. Although I have to fix it because I'm not using cobblestone, and cobblestone is what is getting pushed through. So every time I use that, I usually just replace them when I leave. Oh man, I'm yawning a lot. I apologize. Anyway. I'm going to try and show you the under workings. Right now I'm trying to crouch, but smart moving is refusing to cooperate. I'm thinking it's probably because smart moving gets turned on with F9, and my record button is F9. And I think when I hit record, I turned smart moving off, so that's probably what's going on here, and I can't figure that out until now, which is probably 30 minutes later when I record. My audio, because, you know, a derpa derpa, I turned my mic off. Like a brilliant, brilliant pickle. Anyway, as soon as I figure out this isn't working, I'll leave and show you guys some more things. Like, I have so many secret passages in this place, it's unbelievable. I've lost, I've actually lost my own secret passages. I know they're there somewhere, I just don't know where they're at. And we're gonna leave now. Anyway, if you want like an in-depth tutorial, just, I don't know, comment, subscribe, like, the usual, yada yada. Really, all I have to do is comment, but it would make me happy if you would subscribe. Anyway, right here is just another little place I built. I don't know, actually that's one I lost. I don't know how you get into the other side to leave through there. But right now I'm going to go up these stairs, take a left, and another left. And I'm going to show you my favorite passage I built. And do 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 do. Whoop. It's, you know, just a painting. Anyway, the reason I went back is it looked like there was no painting, but there was. Anyway. I use it. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I use a lot of paintings to hide things. I really like this because, you know, it's pretty much hidden because no one's going to stop walking through there and just be like, oh hey, hey guys, there's there's something up here. I don't know. And that's what the lever opened with the creeper mask inside. That's what it was. And I'm looking at this because I'm pretty sure I just broke part of my wall with that. 
Anyway, we're going to go ahead and show you the next secret passage. This one leads down all the way to the basement of the main theater room. That's the place we first came in at. And I'm really yawning. I have to apologize for that. I think it's because I'm hungry. And the biscuits, as good as they were, they didn't satisfy my hunger for flesh. Anyway, there's a skeleton in my basement. Instead of my closet, they're in my basement. Anyway, this is the big basement. I'm going to put, like, stands and stuff under there. And basically, this is just the big theater room again. And if you'll notice, those two creepers were standing perfectly in sync on the edge of that building. And it kind of creeps me out. Anyway, I'm going to show you another little passageway I built. I'm too lazy to go the right way, so I'm just breaking blocks. That's how I usually do it. That's a cave-in, so don't bother about that. Push the lever, go down here. You go up here, and boom, creepy stalker. Except I have to fix this real quick, because the painting is showing the door. It's not supposed to do that. Anyway, I use steel doors and pressure plates so that you can go through, but you can't go through on this side. I think it's pretty cool. Assassin type. I don't know. Boom, we, fi we fixed it. Anyway, this right here is where we were when we broke the water stuff. And I actually, I think I broke it. Yeah, I broke it. I'm gonna have to fix this real quick. Hold on. But right now I'm, I'm I'm confused what is back here, but it's just normal red stuff. Oh yeah, okay. My well, gosh, I'm, I apologize. Basically, push the lever. That block gets pushed backwards. Push the lever, it gets pushed forward, and it stops the water. And down these stairs is where the water goes to. I don't actually know what the water does, but it does something. And this is just a little room for like enchanting, hanging out, doing stuff. I don't know, banana bread. Anyway, we're gonna go back up here. I accidentally break a picture, and I don't put it back. Because I'm just that lazy. Anyway, go through there. Another secret passage here. And we're just gonna go down here into my water world. You can either go forward, which leads to nothing right now, or you can go up, which leads into that exact room. It's just like a little bath. <sighs> oh, my goodness. And now I'm going to show you the other side of where the water is coming from. It's a dark room, kind of. I don't know, it's not really dark. It's kind of bright, actually. Anyway, now we're going to go to the next place. The next little secret for killing people. I'm gonna have to fix this painting because it looks stupid. But basically, this just leads into a cave, which leads to outside. It's kind of dark in there. <sighs> wow, I'm I am about to probably fall asleep. Anyway, climbing up here. Once we get up here, go outside, and boom, it's pretty much hidden the entire time. I mean, you're not going to find it unless you're looking for secret things, or you just randomly fall on it. And, you know, I'm still building, I'm putting that wall all the way around the entire place. I hope to build like a little desert city and underground city and whatnot. And right here, I'm about to show you the, the secret, not really a secret room, but it's the room that is on the top of this little area. So there actually is a room up there. I thought that was pretty cool. I really like I really like this room. I don't know why. Go in here. It's raining. Let's go back inside. I don't know. I I I, I guess I'll have to end this episode here. I'm gonna call this Vast Shows. So you can tell whether I'm actually gonna be playing a game or just showing something off. And I built this little place for my horse, but he just goes in the rain because he's stupid. Yeah, so that that's about it, I guess. Some some lamp. I don't know. I mean, horse, zombie, creeper. I mean, I guess that's it. So actually, goodbye.